why I always look like Frank Gallagher. Now I'm on my way to go see my hematologist who is technically in charge of everything. Today is when he's going to start to discuss the Pegasus, the interferon with me and I guess we're going to talk about what happened in the hospital and you'll see that now. Alright, so how are you feeling, Danielle? I'm okay. You're okay. I'm doing okay. Yeah, better than I was last time you saw me. Yeah, how, how's the abdominal pain at the moment? It's eased up. Has it? it? Yeah, and yeah, while I was away, I didn't feel it at all. That was completely fine. Okay. I, I did get a lot of bone pain. Because the failure count was creeping up again. So yeah. About 900. I guess we were thinking today as to whether or not we should give the interferon a go. Yeah. Um, it's usually pretty well tolerated. Um, like, I, I mean, have heard good things. Yeah, I mean, most most people most people I've got on it. Um, I mean, they, they find it a little bit hard when they start. Yeah. Um, so it can cause sort of like a bit of like sort of flu-like symptoms and things like that. Okay. You know, if you persist with it for a month or two, it generally works okay. Mm -hmm. um, they come in these pre-filled syringes, so um, you get a packet from the pharmacy and you know you, you just sort of give yourself the shot. Yeah. Um, and it's once a week. Once a week. But the dosage changes over time. So some people, some people need it once a week. I've got some patients on it once a month. Okay. Just everybody's really different as to how they respond to it. Okay. Do I take the full? No. Um, so generally, what I'd suggest what? is when you start, um, you squeeze out half the syringe. So the syringe will have like little sort of markers, markers on it. Yeah. And so you basically just squeeze out half half of it. Just. Mm -hmm. You know, don't drain mm -hmm. um, and then just give yourself the other half okay. um, and you can start once a week with that okay. um, and, and it's, it's probably worthwhile rechecking the blood test in about a month after that treatment okay. um, just to see what they're doing. You're tolerating it well at the month mark and the platelet count still hasn't come down we can increase that to a full syringe a day okay. um, and sometimes cause a bit of depression as well okay. um, so just keep an eye out for that right. um, but I guess in terms of the blood tests you know sometimes it can cause a reduction in your white cell count okay. so you need to keep an eye out for that and sometimes mm -hmm. it can cause um, liver function abnormalities as well so okay. I'm going to keep an eye for that so right. we'll, we'll just we'll just see how it goes over the next month or so it's like half my size but nowhere on here does it tell me how to take these needles a little box pre-filled. These are my instructions that I have to go off of. Pictures. Four pictures is all I have. Now I have to tip half of this out. Such a waste like. See I don't know what I'm doing. I don't I mean he told me I could take it myself so I don't know, I've never done this before. This is a mess. I'm a little bit scared. There's a little spot. A very little. My first needle into the bin. Let's see how we go. Alrighty, it is week two, needle two. I'm still slightly bruised from the first one, which was a week ago. It should just pop off. Came off really easy that time. It's pretty much the same, that just pops off. I did ask my doctor if we could buy an extra part of the needle so that I could use all of the fluid but um, 
He said no. Week two, done. So it's about halfway through week two, I think by now, and I'm starting to get sick. Today is Sunday. <sighs> well and truly feel like crap now. Everything is all blocked. Everything hurts, like all here, through here, everything hurts. Yesterday afternoon, it was just like a sore throat. Overnight, all of this got blocked. And then this morning, I started coughing. The coughing is up during the day. I feel like in the morning and the night is just like when it hits the worst. It's Sunday, I've been taking my Pegasus on Tuesdays. So this will be injection three of Pegasus. So yeah, it's, it's hard to say whether this was from the Pegasus or it's exactly what my mother-in-law has at this moment so because i live with them i'm assuming that those germs got shared i'm pretty sure that this is because of that not because of the pegasus but it can happen because of the pegasus so i just thought i would chuck that in there good morning today is needle number three it's probably just gone 7 a.m i've just woken up i've got my coffee i know some people take this at a certain time of the day my doctor told me that time of day doesn't really matter so i'm just going with what my doctor has told me and that's what i'm going to go with i know that some people take it at certain times uh, but he told me that time of day doesn't really matter so that's what i'm going to go with little tip for anybody giving themselves an injection you will see the sharpest point on the needle and then a little slope you want it so that the slope is going like down into the skin with that sharpest point being the first part that goes into the skin my mum taught me that my mum is a nurse the animals are here for the support this morning Thor just had breakfast and now he's going down for another nap and Sheba is in and out, is the, the reality, okay? I'm not gonna do my hair and do my makeup just to give myself an injection. That would, I mean, if some people do that, that's completely fine if that's what makes you feel better. But like for the purpose of the video, I'm not gonna get all dressed up when naturally this is what I'm gonna look like when I'm giving myself an injection, so. I look at me getting more comfortable while I give myself a shot. I guess I'll go next to that first area because the first area is a lot calmer than the second area, so I guess I'll... I still can't get over this, but this is something that I have to do. This is ne needle number three. I've almost been doing this for a month and I worked myself up so much that first time. Just kind of... I do it quite slowly, as you guys can probably tell by now. I don't move very fast when I do this. Slow. Slow and somewhat steady, kind of. And then I usually push it to the end and I wait a second just to make sure that all the liquid is out. So I started bleeding again. I don't think my reactions to Pegasus have been all that severe now it's a bit hard to tell because i just feel like crap in general as you do when you're sick i can't believe it's been three weeks already that's really weird and yes i uh, i cut my hair because and how do i explain this um not all forms of cancer treatment make you lose your hydrea that i was on that tablet nothing really happened but i did get told that pegasus has the potential to thin the hair not necessarily make you like lose a lot of it but to thin your hair and i've heard some people in groups say that they their hair is thinner other people have said their hair is thicker so excuse me i'm trying to cleanse my wound yes or no anyway uh shorter hair 
just gives it the illusion that it looks thicker. Okay, I'm, I'm already getting a red spot. Sheep up. <sighs> that was needle number three. I guess I'll see you for needle number four or if anything happens in the meantime that I want to throw into this video, then I will see you then. Double knife. Back to recording it because it's Are been so happy? long. Yes. I like to uh, document. <laughs> Father, what? is that bag there for any reason? Oh, you must have got one out already, did you? I didn't see it. Oh, oh um, no, I may have, and then the phone went, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. Just relaxing. <laughs> Just to be confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Anything well, more? Would you want me to video record it from a better angle? Oh, yeah, if you can. Thank you. Really? Do you want it watching it go in, or is it yeah. just whatever? The whole, the the whole, whole thing. The whole thing. The wedding video. Yep. I might have to send a message to my son tonight. One, one of my patients. Well, it's about bloody time you're done. What are they been waiting for? Oh. Christmas. Well, I kept, one time was, oh, I had to wait till he got the tractor. Well, you got the tractor now. Could you wait till you got the tractor? Well, <laughs> what the tractor has to do with proposing, I've got no idea. Okay. That's it, what oh, I forgot how big they are. Sorry, honey. It's Sorry. been so long. It has been. So how, how long has it been? Yeah. Last year. Eight, last year. Yep. God. Mm -hmm. That long. Oh, sorry, it's a bit messy. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can't see you, you just saw the blood just come out. Well, we can all just go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to the heroes as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Who was that strange person that wasn't going to the heroes? So I wonder why it's gone up then. You think it's going oh, to it change? Made, it's probably just a change. Yeah. The change from what you're on. Because it was steady for ages then, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And you've got to remember that it's, it's, we're talking about increments here. Yeah, yeah. tiny increments. And, you know, we have to draw a line somewhere where we say, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. And it just ha you just have to creep over that line. Yeah. Um, and it may well be, maybe, maybe if they had enough fluid today, maybe yesterday you were a bit dry. So, you know, it just, it doesn't take yeah. much of the fluid okay. to actually change that level. Okay. It really doesn't. Well, I'm like a fish. I drink so much water. You know, Every yeah, day yeah, is yeah. like, yeah, I'm ridiculous. Oh, is it good? Or is it not running? There we go. Apply pressure, Father, because it's <laughs> needing. Yeah. Even still, I can't even see a vein, so I don't know how the hell. He got one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how. Yeah, the thing is, you don't go by sight. I know, I know, but like, even like, you know, usually you can sort of see out. something. Yeah. Give me a squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, do that, that's better. Yeah. You guys, so to keep your pressure on you there, and keep, keep, us, keep us squeezing, oh. even though she's going to win you, bitch. Oh, no, no, we're gonna have to zip the bag. <laughs> it's flowing better back to the better. That's better. How much do you need? Four hundred. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Oh my goodness. No, that's, that's much better. That's good. So what you're doing is keep squeezing. Tomorrow. Yeah. And with the Pegasus, how many? So how many? What are you doing injection-wise with that? Uh, so. Today is my fourth. Yeah. I just do it myself. And how are you coping with it? Yeah, it, it's fine. The, the first time I really worked myself up, just because, you know. I mean, once you get used to that, that's yeah, a breeze. Yeah, like, like, yeah. I, like, I got over the first one yeah. and then I was doing yeah, it yeah, 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 but yeah, it was yeah. just that first time, like, having yeah. to stick myself. Having to stick something, it was just yeah. weird. Well, it is a weird thought, isn't it? It's like you have to jab so yourself. Yeah, it was really weird. I was sitting there for ages, like pinching the skin, and I'm like, I can't do it. Yeah, people who do like their own insulin for the stuff just yeah. I don't know how people do it. No, yeah, it was very full on the first time, but now that I've done it, it's yeah. kind of like, oh, well, okay, yeah. okay, next one. Yeah, yeah. But it's been giving me like these red spots, which I think is normal, like over the site where I inject. Yeah. And you get bruises. And yeah, it's like a bruise, yeah. red spot kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, I assume Dad Mel's waiting for you. Yeah, coming in the stick. <laughs> it's kind of not coming out, is it? Oh, it is. It's just very slow. Is that like the thickness, or is that just because my veins are crap? Let me. Can you just hold it up? Hold it up. I have a bit of a. Oh, you're going to play with it again? You haven't stuck me in so long. You're enjoying this, aren't you? It's all the best. I mm -hmm. Definitely. 
Better? Already? Yeah. Maybe you need to be on the side or something. Okay, still squeeze. Squeeze the ball. Still squeeze the ball. Yeah. 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 Just getting dead scared. So just, just keep a little, little bit of pressure on there while I keep on dribbling blood. Dribbling blood. Um, I'll come back. Okay. What is it now at? It is at 200. Oh, halfway there. Halfway there, oh my goodness. <laughs> so did you chose your ring or did no, he? No, he did it all himself. But I can pinpoint the day when he got it because he sent me a text being like, what's your ring size? Like, no, like, you, no you have to find out so far in advance and then you just yeah. buy like a little one going here yeah, I was thinking yeah, about yeah. you and then you go oh yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, why. exactly but like so he's brought me two <laughs> rings in the past but one was too small one was too big so I'm like I don't know <laughs> I've got no idea yeah um and yeah then he's like oh can you get your mum to come down to my work I need to speak to her oh uh, well and no I'm like, if you can pinpoint yeah you do it all in secret it he, needs to be he, like he didn't and then he came home that night and we were eating dinner and usually he's like really talkative. He's a very talkative. So he's person. very quiet. He was so quiet and like he kept looking at me and like giggling and blushing, like, oh, what is your problem? I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what is Are you sick? You? Are you terminal? Yeah, I'm like, what did you do? Like, but no, and then yeah, he did it in yeah. New Zealand. It was that's really, nice. really cool. And yeah, he did that's it at nice. the beginning of the trip. So yeah. Oh, so you had the, the rest of the time. You had the honeymoon phase yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really cool. Really, really cool. So long, honestly. I just completely forgot. Pretty wax. Get ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a better view. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, No, all good. Happy to stop here or yeah? yeah. Thank you for that. I was like, peace yeah. out. There just seems like a lot of hair to fall out. Different setting today. Last one of my first box. So the needles come with this little thing here, which are just kind of pop off like that. The Pegasus itself has a little cap on the end like this that you just kind of pull off like so. These parts okay like so and then we have to empty half. You know the drill by now. So it's really hard to see, but you'll almost be able to see a little point. When I was talking about it going in, that's the bit that you, you so you want the little slope to be facing up. I'm gonna have to go next to it. Okay. Oh, that really hurts to be my arm. This is my third needle of the day. Halfway there. I'll give it a second. Okay. So 
So that is my first month on Pegasus interferon for polycythemia vera. First month down out of I'm not too sure how many. I can't believe that I was 18 months, venesection, plumbotomy, whatever you want to call it, free. I hadn't had one in 18 months. I forgot how much those needles hurt. I started the Pegasus and I needed another venous section. It's too many emotions to be able to form the right words. It's hard to describe how I'm feeling because at the end of the day it's not like this is a cure, this is just a management plan because there isn't a cure for polycythemia vera. And when I was at the doctor's office today, his daughter was there learning about, I guess, what he does so she can follow in his footsteps and um, he introduced me as one of the youngest patients that he's had. It's just hard. And like when I washed my hair this morning, all that hair that had <laughs> fallen out, just um, to know that it's gonna be like this for the rest of my life, like treatments and doctors and feeling behind and left out. It's not going to be easy. Man, this is hard. I wanted to share my journey to be inspiring, but I guess I have to show the hard parts too. Because more often than not, it's just hard. How are you going with the injection? Yeah, all good so far, I think. I mean, earlier in the week I saw Dr. Speedy and oh, yeah. it was the first time in like 18 months that he's actually done a venous section so it's yeah. been quite a while uh he said that that could possibly be from being on like the hydrea and then coming off of it and now pegasus so uh we weren't really sure but uh yeah he had to do one um other than that I've been coping okay, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, your blood tests at the moment are actually looking not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, your hemoglobin's like, reasonable. Um, it sounds like you probably did a venous section, but it was, it was sort of very borderline, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, your platelet count's still sitting around about 890. Um, okay. Rough, roughly similar to what it was before. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting sort of flu-like symptoms or sort of feeling depressed or anything well, like that? Well, I, I did get sick, but um, everybody that I live with was sick. Uh, we got whatever flu is going around at the moment, not COVID, um, just some other sickness that's going around. We all got it. Um, yeah. So I think that was just because of that, not because of the Pegasus. Yeah, okay, no worries. But um, oh. yeah, other than that, I think everything's all good at the moment. Yeah, great. And, and are you going okay with injecting yourself? Like, that's not a big problem? Or? No, no, it, it's all good. Um, I mean, the, the first time I kind of got a bit, uh, I guess, nervous and I was shaky and whatever. It was just like a weird idea to just have to, you know, do it to myself. But now it's it's fine. Okay. Well, your blood, your blood tests are looking... Um, yeah, I mean, your, your, sorry, your liver function is looking good at the moment. That's the one thing we sort of monitor mm -hmm. when you're on. So your platelet count's still sort of fairly elevated, so it might be worthwhile just pushing up the dose a little bit if you think you can tolerate it. Okay, um, by how much? So instead of doing half a syringe, just do a full syringe weekly. Okay. Yep, and see how you go. I mean, if you get, if you get flu like side effects or depression or something like that, um, you can always cut back to half. Alright. But, yeah. um, but I might just get you to do another blood test in a month and I'll give you a call and just see how you. Okay, yep, yeah, that sounds good. Alright, no Alright, thank you. Have a good night. Alright, you too. Catch you later. Bye. I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, I know that a lot of people who are on the Pegasus, they get... their dosages get changed a bit. I guess I will have to do more videos about my Pegasus journey and seeing how I guess an increase in the dose impacts me. Today just hasn't been a good day. I'm not really in the best mindset right now. I was just talking to a friend and saying how I feel like I'm behind compared to other people my age. It's hard to, you know, go on social media and talk to people and to not compare yourself because 
I just feel behind. And you know, having a rare blood cancer, it's like you have to work three times as hard for not even half the result. It's just been one of those days where I've been in a, a weird mindset and then not really knowing how my results were going to turn out and having my first venous section in 18 months earlier in the week it's um I guess I'm gonna have to continue filming the journey in separate videos and see where we go but I guess with chronic illnesses you never really stop. This was my first month on Pegasus I hope that this video helped you in some way, gave you some sort of useful information or ideas about what your journey could potentially be like if you're going to start Pegasus and have polycythemia vera as well. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.